I'm going to pause it right there. Hopefully, everything's going to be working. Okay, guys, God bless you. Welcome to This Is It. Four, three, two, one before the fire. <laughs> guys, Um, the night I got saved, I knew there was a fire coming to destroy everything. When I was called to service for the Lord, the very night I got saved, I knew there was a fire coming to destroy everything. <clears throat> the Lord trained me up over maybe five years of intense training. And then he sent me out publicly on the the eve of the uh, presidential election for Barack Obama. If anyone's ever seen a turning point in this country or you're old enough to remember how things were in the past, starting around 2008, our country entered into the beginning of a downward spiral. Um, it's evident. Hindsight's 2020. You can see it. It's demonstrable. It's easy to see if you've been around for a while. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bear witness to the abomination that causes desolation. What it, what that is, it's very simple. It's a serpent race of beings within you. Lady Gaga wearing a serpent dress, a dress with a snake on it and an insect on the top of it. That's the That is a representation of that race of beings. And it makes desolate the temple of God, which is what we are. We're the temple of the living God. Okay, but the abomination shall rise from within the walls of the temple, which is your body, to destroy the temple. Okay, now, that's what I'm bearing witness to. Now, here's the thing. I'm come under all kinds of attacks. I mean, there's it's nonstop, the crazy stuff, whatever. I'm not going to go into it all. It's just annoying. Anyway, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to produce this video that is a testimony. I want you to understand that the other day, uh, the Lord got a hold of me and told me, I want you to go down to the cemetery where he had driven Corey and I previously. For those of y'all that know what a miraculous testimony that was, the cemetery where the Lord drove me down to a crossroad on on um, St. Anthony Street and the road crossroad right there. St. Anthony dead-ended into an, a cemetery. You go right or you go left. Now think about all of us in our lives. When you come to the end of your life, you come to the end of the road and there's the cemetery. Well, we either go to the right or to the left in a spiritual sense. The sheep go to the right into the eternal kingdom prepared for God's angels, and then in to the left for the goats, for the devil and his angels. Okay, well, it's interesting that that's where the Lord took me in a supernatural, miraculous, documented event where the Lord told me, Jonathan, I'm going to take you and Corey somewhere. Just start driving. It was the strangest thing. I documented the whole thing. It was absolutely insane. You couldn't make it up because I committed to it. Before we started driving with the witness, I'm like, this is crazy. The Lord's telling me he's going to take us for a drive. He's going to take us somewhere. Corey and I had no idea. We ended up on St. Anthony Street, dead ending into a cemetery where you go right or you go left. And the Lord told me to pull over. And I pulled over and the Lord told me to look at all the headstones that were, which way were they facing? West. So they were all facing west. And then I turned back and walked the other direction there was only one headstone where the name you could read walking east. Well, east represents the beginning of life. Life. West represents death. That's why everybody in the cemetery has their head pointing west where the sun goes down. It's not by accident. So anyway, when I walked that other direction and I saw a headstone that said Gallagher, I was like, that's crazy. Why would one headstone, only one headstone, be legible walking east and the lord told me jonathan look up the meaning of the name gallagher so i'm going to do that to you for you right now so you can see uh if i'm not hearing them from the lord then someone tell me who am i hearing from <laughs> so because i see people try and come at me i'm like okay and uh huh and whatever makes manifest is light the bible says whatever makes manifest is light clear or obvious to the mind or to the eye is light. So Jesus is the light of the world. So here you go. Meaning of the name. Meaning of name Gallagher. 
foreign help. Foreigner, meaning to help. Descendant of a foreign helper. So, and I've looked it up and I put it in the folders. So, right here, just on the first, uh, first search, it says foreign help. Well, who is our foreign help? Well, see, we're all foreigners and strangers in this land. Live out your life as foreigners, strangers, sojourners, exiles. And the one that comes in to buy our, our soul back is El, the Almighty God. And you shall call his name Imanu El. Imanu means with us is El, the Almighty God. So for the Lord to drive me to a cemetery, just said, get in the car. I'm going to drive you somewhere with Corey. And Corey's a witness. And I documented it. And for it to end up in a cemetery where everyone's headstone is facing west, which is where the sun sets. And the one that's facing the opposite direction is Gallagher. And it means descendant of a foreign helper. Okay, here we go. Something very strange is happening again now. Let me pause this. Okay, so here we go. The name Gallagher is a boy's name of Irish origin, descendant of a foreign helper. So I just want you to see that. Gallagher means descendant of a foreign helper right there. So now I'll just X that out. Okay, so now here's here's the testimony I'm going to give you first. First, I'm going to give you a testimony so you understand this is what the Lord told me to go do a couple of days ago, and I documented it. All right, here you go. Ready? Here begins the testimony. So the other day, the Lord told me, I want you to go to the, I want you to go to the cemetery where the Gallagher headstone is. I have several of these rings. They're like wedding rings, and it's got the Lord's prayer on it. It's got the Lord's prayer on it. And um, <clears throat> I have several of these that I ordered. I gave, I've given them to some friends of mine, and I've ordered a couple extra because I don't know people's ring sizes, and they're like $14, $11 or $14 a ring. So I got a couple extras. Anyway, so... The other day, the Lord said, Jonathan, I want you to go down to the cemetery and I want you to take two of the rings, two, to the headstone, Gallagher. And I just thought, wow, that's crazy. What would that suggest to you? Well, to me, it suggests maybe there's a wedding coming because these are like wedding bands with the Lord's Prayer. Now, what's really fascinating is the night I got saved, when I opened that door in the back of the St. Anthony and I had to overcome knowing that I'd be killed by opening that door. I, I just said, I'd rather open the door and die than not open the door and not know the truth. And I opened the door and I went out and I walked down those stairs and Michael said, pray with me, my brother. We prayed our father to the heavens. Water and light came down on me and that's when I was anointed and I was sealed as a harbinger that moment. So I prayed our father the night I got saved. Water and light came down on me right then and there. Okay, this is the prayer, our father on this ring. Now, I find it interesting that the Lord would tell me to go down to the cemetery, to the Gallagher headstone, descendant of a foreign helper, and have me take two of these rings. Okay, I don't know about you, but to me, it's like, wow. Now, here's the part that's really uh, mind-boggling. Let me see if I can get Corey real, real quick. Hang on. Hey, Corey. Corey. Uh, okay, just hang on. I'm just going to use Corey as a witness. Would you mind just stepping over here just as a witness? You can just, yeah. So anyway, so just real quick. So I was just telling everybody that the other day when the, so here's Corey. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, just lean in just a little bit more. Uh, there you go. Okay. Can you come this way? <laughs> there you go. Okay. So there's Corey. Okay. So anyway, so the other day, um, I was sitting here and you were with me the first time that the Lord told me, Jonathan, I'm going to take you and Corey for a ride. Just start driving. Is that true? And we ended up at a cemetery and that dead ended on St. Anthony Street. And we had to go right or left because the cemetery was there. Correct. The Lord told me to pull over and I pulled over and all the headstones were facing west because I, the Lord told me, look at the direction of the headstone. And I asked you in the truck, which direction is that where the headstones were facing? It was what? It was due west. It was exactly west. So right then I was like, well, this is very odd that the Lord drove uh, Corey and I to a cemetery. I mean, I just thought it was so fascinating. And we're looking at all the headstones or face. So everyone's pointed west, their head down. 
And then I started coming back the other way, and there was a headstone named Gallagher. And it was facing east, and you could read the name east. And then the Lord told me, look up the meaning of the name Gallagher. And the name Gallagher meant descendant of a foreign helper. Well, that's when I knew the Lord was speaking to me because we are descendants of a foreign helper and he saves us from the grave. <laughs> He's the one that saves us from death. Okay, here we are in a graveyard. So it was beyond mind boggling. But so now just as a confirmation, the other day I heard the Lord tell me, I want you to go back down to the cemetery. We've been there several times. Every time is it a supernatural event? Batten a thousand. Batten a thousand. Every time the Lord sends me down there, it is a demonstrable miracle. It's mind-boggling, and I keep thinking, he can't do another one. He can't do another and he always does. So anyway, long story short, the other day, when the Lord told me to go down there and take two wedding rings to the headstone, I was like, wow, that's crazy. But then he told me, pay attention to the packaging that this came in. It's very important. And then pay attention to that, 631 Olive Street, Suite 403, Los Angeles. I did convey that to you before I left, Jess. Okay, so I told Corey, I was like, this is so weird. I was like, Corey, I don't understand. That's so strange. Like the Lord's telling me the address is important. Why would the address be important? So I looked up 631 in the Bible, and it means to shake the dust off your feet. Now, don't forget, we're in a twin system. Uh, just like the Justin Timberlake video I showed you where his evil doppelganger is killing the angel and throwing him in the trunk where he's being consumed by a worm, which is what this guy, Jonathan Cleck, has been telling you. So anyway, so when the Lord told me that this was important before I went to the cemetery, you're a witness to that. Absolutely. 100% no lying. Okay, so then I left, but I was going to take this with me, but I left it on the counter, and I drove down towards the cemetery, and as I was documenting my video, I looked up, and I'm like, wow, what the heck? There's Olive Street, like South Olive Street. Well, that's what's on here, 631 South Olive, and so I was like, wow, that's crazy. Now I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. The Lord told me that the, the address was super important, and I'm like, is that true? And I, I was asking Corey, why would the address be important? What does that mean exactly? What, why does the address have to be important? So 631 means to scrape the dust off your feet when you leave. After you've delivered your message to a group of people for the Lord, if they don't receive it, dust off your feet on your way out the door. And think about where, you know, for Adam was formed from the dust. Think about shaking off the dust. That's kind of like leaving your body behind. Just think about it. So anyway, long story short, on the way over there, when I saw Olive Street, I was like, what? Oh, my God, that's crazy, because the Lord told me before I left that the address was important. So I go over to Olive Street, and lo and behold, there are these twin duplexes there. And I'm like, and the east side is totally run down. It, it's dilapidated. So there's a little building going on here and there, but for there to be twin duplexes on the address where 631 is brand spanking new. That's crazy, you guys. And for the address to be 631, that's insane. So anyway, I just wanted to have a witness that, yes, this is all true, everything I said. Have you seen miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle going down there? It's insane. It's like, ah! Okay, so now I'm going to try and deliver the rest of this testimony. Then I'll do this video and put it up, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to go through these folders, which uh, apparently they don't want you to see this stuff. Okay, cool. All right, there it is. All right, so there's, there's a witness. So 631 means dust off the feet. Scrape the dust off your feet. 403 means to regain your breath. Now, I'm an angel. And I regained my breath. I got the word spirit is breath. Now, let me show you real quick. So you guys see everything in the Bible. If it's not biblical, don't believe it. If it's biblical and it matches up, then it's true. Uh, if it doesn't equal the Bible, then it's not true. Okay, now let me show you this. Ready? We'll go to Ephesians. I just want to pick a scripture that's really easy for you to see and understand. Ephesians 2. Now, before you got converted, 
before you were converted, it says, and you he has quickened, which means you got converted. You were transformed. You have been quickened. You were dead in your trespasses and your sins. Where and in time past, like before you walked according to the course of this world. Because see, the whole world does the same thing. According to the prince of the power of the air. See it right here? Look at this. The prince of the power of the air. The spirit that works in the children of disobedience. Now that's everybody. Now you ready? Before you got quickened, you walked according to the prince of the power of the air. The word air is spirit. Okay, right here. See the prince of the power of the air, the spirit. Now look at this. Here's what spirit is. It says breath. You see that? Breath. Current of air, breath. So whose breath is in you? And then it says vital principle, mental disposition, superhuman, see it in parentheses, and angel, comma, demon. See it all in yellow. So you're a superhuman angel demon. Now, you see right here in, in that dark blue? Now I'm going to highlight it. See the word or? So you're either superhuman, which is an angel, comma, demon, or you've been converted to divine. See divine in parentheses? So you're either a superhuman angel comma demon, or you've been converted into divine God, Christ, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's one or the other. There is no in between. So you've either been converted from a right side up and an upside down spirit that are at war against each other within you. So that's the whole system. There's a good you and there's a bad you, just like the Justin Timberlake video. And who won in that one? The bad one won. And he put on the shades and he drove off with the angel in the trunk with a worm eating him. End of story. That's everything I've been telling you for years. And now it's in a Justin Timberlake video, exactly what I told you. Okay, now watch. <clears throat> when you get converted, you go from superhuman angel, demon, because the demon goes down to the pit. That spirit goes to the pit. Angel goes to heaven. But you're trapped in a host body, so you have to be born again. So when you get born again, you go from a superhuman angel demon spirit to both eyes up, your eyes become single, and your whole body's full of light. And you've been converted to the Holy Spirit from a superhuman angel demon to the Holy Spirit. That's why in Luke it says, when your eyes become single, it says folded together. And I, I, the Lord's let me prove it with all the vocabulary of the scriptures. It's not arguable. Okay, so now, if you're me and the Lord tells you to go back down to that cemetery where every time you go, it's like, <laughs> it's always supernatural. <clears throat> and he told me that the address is super important. Well, 631 means to scrape off the dust from your shoes. When you leave after you've delivered the message that the Lord sent you with. Well, I'm a harbinger. I told everybody you either get converted or you die with the system that's coming. That's what I've been telling everybody. You either get converted and the Lord let me show you the riddle of ages. The whole picture he's let me explain to you. Okay, so 631 means scrape the dust off. You know what 403 means? To regain one's breath. Oh, you mean like to be born again. Yeah, to regain your breath. Angels. Angels that have regained your breath, dust off your feet. Apparently, because I'm taking wedding rings down to the Gallagher headstone. Because we're all about to face death now. I'm just saying, that's the message. Now, do I know that death's coming in the next week, next month? I don't know. I'm just giving you a factual testimony. This is what the Lord said was important before I walked out this door. Now, I'm going to show you a video that I, I documented on the day I went down there. Okay, so I'm going to let you watch that. Then I'm going to post this. Then I'll come back and do another video out of the folders because I don't want to spend two hours doing all this work and then it gets shot down again by the, the, the freaking freaks that are hacking me and making my life difficult to try and deliver this stuff. Okay, here we go. Day of the testimony. You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here we go.
God bless you guys. Hey, I'm just checking in. This is just for those of y'all that have seen the supernatural miracles, like down at the cemetery, the Gallag going down in Gallagher, descendant of a foreign helper. For those of y'all that know the testimony about the cemetery, when the Lord sent Corey and I down there, he said, I'm taking you for a ride. I had no idea where we we're going. And we ended up at a headstone named Gallagher. And it means descendant of a foreign helper. Okay, without getting into all the details, for those of y'all that know these crazy supernatural testimonies, here we go again. Something very odd is going on. The Lord out of nowhere grabbed a hold of me. I was working on a folder that was supposed to be a video that I'm doing today, like here in just a few minutes. And the thing that's very strange is... Uh, out of left field while I'm just getting ready to drop this supernatural data that the Lord just keeps producing and giving me I'm getting ready to just sh launch into it for you guys and I hear the Lord tell me I want you to go down to the cemetery now to the Gallagher headstone and I want you to take two rings you see this ring it's got the Lord's prayer on it well, I had ordered some extra ones. Uh, they were, I think they're like $11 and I ordered them for some friends and I heard the Lord say, take down two rings, like a marriage. And I'm like, wow, that's weird. And so I happen to have two rings and they look very much like a wedding ring and it's got the Lord's prayer on it, which is what I prayed the night I got saved. I prayed the Lord's prayer with Michael. Anyway, so What's really fascinating is that the Lord would tell me to take down a set of wedding rings to the cemetery, to the Gallagher headstone out of left field today. And guys, I don't know how many times that, I think I've been down there four times and every single trip has been this crazy, supernatural, mind boggling, testimony every time I'm freaking out I'm like oh my gosh anyway I can replay those old uh, videos for you because they, they've all been memorialized so uh, I'll give you this testimony first and then after you guys watch this part let's go revisit all the other supernatural things that have happened at Gallagher it's just absolutely crazy so anyway so I'm looking forward to see what the Lord's got gonna do it's always a little bit edgy. Uh, you never really know for sure what's going to happen until you get there. Because the way the Lord works, you just never know. It's always been something supernatural and fascinating. So anyway, praise God. I think our time is is very much at the, at the moment. Um, there's more to what I've already told you that I haven't just blurted out yet. Uh, 631, the Lord had me look at the, he had me look up 631 in the Bible and it goes to Luke chapter 10 verse 11 and it talks about wipe off the dust to your feet for those that didn't receive you and I'm like, well that's kind of wild, it's like the Lord's telling me, hey, you know, go put these wedding rings on Gallagher and um, he gives me 631 out of the Bible before I leave and it means to wipe off the dust off your feet and he said it'll be more tolerable for you know uh, chores and or chores and sorry uh, Sodom in that day because looks like the day of judgment is coming and I just don't know what to make of all this except every time I do what he says I get to see the glory of God so I want to do what he says so anyway, I find this all very fascinating because it comes on the heels of yesterday what the Lord was revealing and showing to me. Um, I believe I was in Joel 2.25 around there. And it, I was reading, the Bible says, And whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the Lord had me look up the word saved. And it says to emit sparks and to slip away kind of like you turn into a bunch of sparks and, and disappear so whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved and the word saved means to emit sparks and to disappear and slip away
Okay, I find that fascinating. That was yesterday. They just put a billboard above my house that is guys that are military and it says, you know, be prepared to get your new VA benefits. And it shows guys in their military outfits like they're in, in war, but there's sparks floating up everywhere. It's pretty wild. I mean, in my brain, I'm like, how is that even possible that they put a billboard right over my house that's military guys emitting sparks? Or let's just say there's sparks emitting all around them. And then the Lord has me in a chapter in the Bible that refers to his, you know, his saints. They will escape and it means to emit sparks. And we are all soldiers in a war in Satan's kingdom. I mean, that's just insane to me. But I've gotten to see him that many, many times. Anyway, here we are on the, on the way to the cemetery. Yeah, so anyway, so now I'm just going to head down there and try and be as obedient as I can. I just, sometimes when the Lord asks me to do something, and you're not sure what it's about, um, those are the times where it's a little edgy. <laughs> anyway, all glory to God. I pray that the end is here, just to be honest. I'm, I'm really, I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. I'll just say that. I pray that we're all ready in our hearts because the end is so obviously upon us that if you don't see it, then how could you be awake? Okay, this is so strange. I want you all to see, see South Olive is where it is. South Olive. I'm going to pause this now for a moment. Now think about this. Okay, now I'm on my way down there. That's what you're watching. So I'm recording it live while I'm going to deliver the two rings to Gallagher, descendant of a foreign helper. And I'm, I always have to kind of find my way down there because there's different ways you can go. And it's just a little confusing because I don't go over there a lot. Anyway, but uh, I look up and I see Olive Street. Well, I'm like, wait a minute, Olive Street. That's crazy. That's what's 631. I had already looked up 631 in the Bible because the Lord said it was important. So now I look up and I see Olive Street and I have the Lord said this address was really important and Corey's a witness. Now I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. So right here, I'm like, okay, I need to go to 631 Olive Street. And when I go there, I find there is these twin duplexes. That's crazy since I'm the guy that's showing you that the twin system is what destroys you. And 631 means wipe your feet off, the dust off your feet. Well, the whole house that we're in, our host body, our house is a twin duplex system. You have one one way, one the other way. That's, cr that's absolutely nuts. And wipe off your feet and then um, regain your breath. All angels, Los Angeles means the angels. 403 means to regain your breath, that regains your breath, wipe off your feet. I mean, I'm just saying, this is what he told me. So I'm like, okay, well, do I know that that means it's going to happen right away? No, but what would it suggest? It would suggest you better be ready. So I'm just bearing witness. Here we go. On the way there. So we're on the way to the cemetery and South Olive is one of the first streets I looked at. I had no idea Olive Street would, I don't, I'm not intimately aware of an Olive Street in San Antonio. What's so strange is I told you the Lord had already communicated something to me like wipe off your feet. And it was the uh, 631 Olive Street. That's how he communicated it to me. Um, so anyway, just unbelievable. I'm going to see if I can sign. I'm just going to see if there's a 631 Olive Street because before I came down here, I literally photographed 631 Olive Street. Just for my own brain, 
I want to see if there's a 631 Olive Street. I just find it also absolutely insane. Oh, this whole thing, just to see the Olive Street right here, that's part of what got me to come down here. 631 Olive Street. The Lord told me to look on the package that had the address where these rings came from. And it was 631 Olive Street. And now I'm going over Olive Street on the way to the cemetery. That's just too crazy. That's just beyond my brain. So I'm gonna see what 631 is, just out of my own curiosity. So I'm just gonna run down a couple more blocks and just see what's up there. I mean, even though the 631 is totally not associated with San Antonio, I just find it so bizarre. Anyway, fascinating to my brain. I am on the way to the cemetery though, and I'm just taking a little side route just to see what this is. Just want to see. So, so that would be the closest 625, but here's two new. Okay, pause that right there. Look at what 631 Olive Street is. Are you kidding me? Twin, twin buildings. They're like twins on one lot. That's insane that the, the Lord told me the address is very important. Then after I go down there and I come back home and the Lord's telling me, yeah, pay attention to the whole thing. The angels that have regained their breath, dust off your feet. I'm just saying, that's what he showed me. So do whatever you want with that. I'm a harbinger. Believe it. Don't believe it. The Vatican's a snake. You either believe it or you don't. I love you in Christ. If you don't believe it, it wasn't meant for you. If you believe it and you see it, it was meant for you. There you go. Identical side by side. That's what would be on the lot. Okay, I want to show you something real quick now. Now that you're looking at that. Identical side by side. Now let me show you something. See, this whole thing was done in identical side by side. We had our own doppelganger on uh, side by side. Uh, and let's see if I can pull up this imagery right here. Just give me a moment. Okay, one moment. Okay, I want you guys to look at something right here. Here are the buildings right here that I just pulled up to. You see it? Okay. Here is the Twin Towers right here. I'm going to click on the Twin Towers. During the September 11th attack, 2,977 people. I'm going to show you. I speak their language. They're using that number because it suits their purpose. It means done in secretly, done secretly. So 2,900 were killed, so killed secretly. 19 slaughter hijackers, hijackers committed murder-suicide. Uh, if you think about the reality of the system that you're in, it is a murder-suicide. Because Jesus is the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. So he's willing to redeem an entire world before it even begins. Stop and think about that. So everything can exist. So free will exists, so you can make your own choice. If you get a host body and you come into the system, you chose to have your body, and you also have your free will to turn back to God or to serve yourself. The choice is yours. So that number, 2977, done in secret. Look at the, so look at the Twin Towers, Cain and Abel. That's what they represent. Here is the Vatican birthing another snake. No one can argue with this. That is a serpent. This is Parthenogenesis representing the twin system done in secret. Okay, for the Lord to pull me up to a set of twin buildings right there at 631, and it means dust off your feet when you leave after you've delivered the message, if they won't receive you. That is beyond profound that's a miracle if you don't understand it. being who i am and what i've done what i deal with the twin system and to pull up to a lot that's got twin twin uh duplexes on it that's not even possible especially in the neighborhood that i'm in because it's a very rundown neighborhood they're starting to do some some refurbs obviously but it is one of the rundown neighborhoods in San Antonio. And so here you go. Let me show you what was done in secret. 
Okay, you see the Twin Towers bombing on your $20 bill? There's That was done in secret because it's printed on your money. Here's the Federal Building bombing in Oklahoma City. Here it is right here. See the rounded corners? Rounded corner, rounded corner, long rectangular windows. Rounded corner, rounded corner, long rectangular windows. Explosion. There are two bombings are. Federal Building bombing and Pentagon. On the back side of this is the, I, I'm sorry, Federal Building and Twin Towers. On the back side of this is the Pentagon bombing. So that was the meeting I had with the FBI to show them that. Now, let's go back to this. Where, if there's a 631, this would be the lot right here. And that's what's being built as a team here, side by side. So, this neighborhood is a very old, rundown hood. It's east side. Uh, I'm sure you can just see out my windows and everything. Uh, for the core, for this unit right here to be what looks like uh, two brand new identical buildings, you know, si identical side by side. Considering the system that we're in, don't you find that odd? I mean, that, to me, that is just so crazy bizarro that you couldn't even. I'm gonna pause that and just check my reel and think it up. So anyway, so here I go. I'm going to keep heading back down to the cemetery. I stopped by where 631 would be, and they didn't have numbers on them, but uh, the previous one was 625, so 27, 29, 31. So that would be the closest right there. So this place is even as big as it is. It's just an odd place to find. It's just I don't come over to the east side very much. Um, anyway, um, so I'm on St. Anthony Street. It's fascinating. It says, don't let your sins stop you from serving God. How about you get your sins taken care of by God so you can serve him? Yeah, uh, pretty fascinating. Uh-huh. Now, right ahead of me, it says 360 Outreach. And we're on. So I'm I'm drawing your attention to that because the direction I'm going is kind of a new direction to go down there. And I found it odd because the Lord has shown me over and over again that we've come full circle, full circle. And there is an outreach. It says something outreach. It says 360, 360, like three times it says 360. And I just found that odd. So that's why I'm drawing my attention to it. St. Anthony Street, which is fascinating. <laughs> Earlier today, the Lord was showing me, like, the pit is opening and the end is here. It's interesting to be driving by 360 over and over for three times. So, I've made it to the corner of Nevada and South New Braunfels, which is the beginning of this cemetery. This thing is extensive. It's huge. So, anyway, we'll see... Uh, I'm going to just head to the Gallagher um, headstone because the Lord told me this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the two wedding rings and you're going to leave them at the Gallagher headstone. How fascinating on the way down here because I crossed over Olive Street. Part of what got me to come down here was the Lord said, look on the package that these rings came in. I had this package that's been sitting around and it says 631 Olive Street. And the Lord said, look up 631 in the Bible. And it means to dust your, wipe your feet off, uh, like, you know, the dust from your feet for those that didn't receive you. What I find fascinating is then he takes me. So what I find fascinating is then heading over to the cemetery, I pass over an Olive Street. What is the, what are the odds on that? And then I decide, huh, I'll look at What's it address 631? Well, at 625 is, is a place that's built, but then the whole corner lot, which would be 27. Uh, uh, 20 what I'm gonna do is I wanna, sh in in the show notes, I, I took another trip down there the following day and I put on Siri and I said, take me to 631 Olive and it drove me right to those duplexes just FYI and so because there's no numbers up there but that's where Siri will take you as to those two duplexes so it makes sense that's the corner where 631 is 
29, 31. So that would all be there, and there's a fourplex there. It looks like it's at least a fourplex. It's a duplex. So 631 would be right where I stopped, and it's two uh, identical condos, long and thin, like kind of like go do what he says, take my phone with me, and just keep an eye on, you know, this whole wild situation. So I'm, uh, I'm going to pause it just to make sure this is running. And also on the way over here, it said 360, 360. Don't let sin keep you from serving God. It's pretty fascinating that, uh, you know, it says 360, 360. That like you've come full circle. I remember the last time I came here, um, well, one of the last times I, when I came with Dave, this entire place had white flowers. I mean, it was solid white flowers. Now it's all these yellow flowers. They're like daisies. But when I came here with to give Dave the wave, the white rock, the white flowers that were coming up, they're called rain lilies. And they weren't in any of the other houses in the whole neighborhood, just all over the entire cemetery. And rain lily represents the resurrection. I wonder what the odds are that there was a flower covering the entire cemetery, five cities, six, seven city square blocks and it was packed with flowers that represent the resurrection. Well, here I am, and all the flowers that are popping up are these yellow, they look like daisies. So yeah, the, uh, the place is packed with, uh, with white flowers, with yellow flowers, and I'm gonna head over to Gallagher right here. This is the headstone. So, here it is. It's a huge place. Huge. So, I just got here. Gallagher's right here in front of me. I'm looking at the white stones. So, y'all remember this? Descendant of a foreign helper. All the headstones are facing west where the sun goes down. So the sun sets in the west. It's fascinating because the west is what's being destroyed right now in the world. They're coming for the west to destroy it in the world. What's fascinating is all the headstones face west except Gallagher. So I find this also fascinating to bring down the rings, put the rings there, document it, 631, dust off your feet from the dust of those places that didn't receive you. It looks like my mission may be over guys, I don't know, this is crazy. I'm putting two rings down there on Gallagher. 631 Luke chapter 10 verse 11 I'll go over it all in this video I mean my so it's interesting that the wind's blowing so hard I've never really had that happen in any of my videos down there but the angels that have regained their breath dust off your feet and I'm taking rings to Gallagher okay Okay. All right. Anyway, I was obedient. I did what he said. My brain is just stunned. I think we're, we're arriving. Where the rings are. How fascinating. We're a descendant of a foreign helper. And see, you can see that none of those headstones have a name on them. That's East. We're the descendants of El, the Almighty God. He's our foreign helper. And all these folks, see all, all the headstones? You can read all the headstones because they're head down that direction. That's West. 
and then this is east. And we're descendants of the foreign helper, which is our. Did y'all notice? Did y'all notice that when I face east, that's when you hear all the wind and you hear all the wind when I face east? That's crazy. What an amazing story. Just get one more little overall view. Again, there's Gallagher with the two rings, the white rocks. The beginning of life. West, the end of life. Isn't that crazy? Did y'all notice that? So when I'm facing east, you hear all this wind, all this breath. When I face west, you don't really hear it. <laughs> That's crazy. Gallagher means descendant of a foreign helper. And for the Lord God to send me down here, not knowing where I was even going the first time, and had me walk to this headstone out of all the headstones in a seven block cemetery. The one that's facing the opposite direction means descendant of a foreign helper. You couldn't even think that up. So, all glory to the king. It looks like our time must be very soon. 631 Strongs. All right, guys. The host by the system is a statue just like the Statue of Liberty. And it's a hive for the angel of the bottomless pit. That's why we're not supposed to make idols. You're not supposed to make something like you're looking at up there. The Lord isn't crucified. He's not on the cross. He's risen and he lives in us. He's a supernatural being. Look at that. It's a hive. See all of them coming out? The statue itself is a hive. That's insane. That is just... Do y'all know how crazy what you're looking at right there is? See, the Statue of Liberty represents your body, which is a Statue of Liberty. You got your own statue, your own idol to walk around in. That's what it is. Isn't it crazy that a statue is pouring out all these insects, all these bees? Did you know the Vatican, the the altar underneath the dead sheep, that thing has a, a bee coming out? underneath the altar it's made up of two guys heads so two guys side by side make the head of a bee think about that the two side by side make the insect coming out of the pit that's exactly perfect correct the two side by side make the insect coming out of the pit let me see if i can show that to you real quick let me just see see if i can add that in real quick should be in this folder right here so let me just check real quick and see if i've added it i believe so if it's not in this one it's in and uh one by it let me just see real quick i'd like for you guys to get to see it so yeah so in the vatican where you right above right in front of the big dead sheep so here's all the angels coming in the window and right underneath this dead sheep is this right here you see that Okay, well, I can see exactly what it is. That's a bee. That's its eye. Its eye. Its proboscis is the head of a bee right here. Let me make it easier for you to see. This is the gift the Lord gave me. Now that I've kind of colored it in for you, and you see the eye and the eye, and you see the, you see the antenna, see the antenna of the bee, see the bee. The bee's made up by, these guys look like twins. See this guy and this guy? That's what makes up the bee's head coming out of the the hive. Don't you think it's crazy that in the Vatican, under the big dead sheep that's male and female reproductive systems, uh, there you go, <laughs> that right there underneath the male and female reproductive systems, right underneath that is two guys' heads that make up a bee coming out coming out of the hole right there that's a bee coming out of the hole and yesterday down at this cemetery the statue which we're not supposed to make has bees completely and utterly insane i'm sure you guys can see all the bees flown out just like the vatican the altar under the vatican the under the dead sheep is made up of two guys heads that make a bee coming out of a hole Look at this. This is nuts. 
So the host body system is a hive from the angel of the bottomless pit. And you got trapped in it. Now, the understanding is complete and biblical. I thought it was just... ...flowing out of this statue. It's absolutely crazy. It is just flowing with insects flowing out of this statue. The thing I also noticed is, you see the cross like that? There are a whole bunch of crosses that are like that. What does that make? It makes an X. Why would you lay the cross down sideways? This cemetery is filled with crosses like that. If I go over here, you can see that over there. Uh, think about it. It's the X energy that our Lord paid the rent on in our body. Look at, look at the one behind this one, see? 2X, isn't that insane? That's completely insane, you guys. Look at what you're looking at. See it, 2X, absolutely insane. This is a Catholic cemetery. So you can imagine that if I am a harbinger, like I said I am, and the Lord sent me down to a cemetery to take down two wedding rings to a headstone that's Gallagher, which means descendant of a foreign helper. And he used a package that said 631 Olive Street as part of his communication before I came down here. And 631 in the Bible means basically wipe the dust off your feet if they, ha if they won't hear your message when you're done. Just wipe the dust off. It almost sounds like he's symbolically sending me down here to wipe the dust off our feet because it's time to go. That's what I mean, did you see what was at the corner where 631 Olive Street would have to be? They're building new houses that's a new, like a duplex alongside each other. Two story duplexes. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Same as this. That's just crazy. So anyway, I'll just leave it at that. We'll, we'll just see, but I'm documenting it. Because this is what he told me to do, and I see the spiritual significance in it. I mean, that's just mind-boggling. I mean, how weird that I would cross over Olive Street on the way down, and 631 Olive is what he used as part of his communication to get me to come down here. It's like, I want you to go down there. And he showed me, look up the place that the rings came from, and I said, they come from 631 olive he said look up 631 in the bible it means to wipe your feet off like dust your feet it's time to go and then bring the rings down and on the way down i i cross over olive and i go look for 631 just to see if there is one and it's a corner building a new set of duplexes alongside each other kind of like a new system where you live alongside that's just crazy it's just nuts i mean my brain is just ah I want to just get you. I'm on the phone with Corey. So Corey, what's the what's the? I was going to bring that package with me, correct? Yes. And what's the address? It says uh, uh, the so because the Lord told me to look at the address. Does it say 631 what street? 631 South Olive Street. So okay, 631 Olive, right? Yep. And I was gonna bring that with me. I, I asked you where it was, but I forgot to bring it, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'm telling you, I, I, I ended up at 631 Olive Street and they're building a fourplex that's a representation of the system to live alongside, you know, and just, you know, uh, an alien by dweller or, you know, one that lives alongside. Okay, so now I've had a few moments just to process all this. Um, again, it's not possible again. Uh, it's always something phenomenal. It's just so bizarre that I ended up at a corner that would be Olive Street where 631 Olive Street would be. And they're building up brand new buildings on it that are side by side living situations you know to live alongside a shining one uh the paradigm that i've been ta talking about it's almost like the new ones are ready to move into 
I had to tell you what it's going through my mind. All right, guys. Now, all right, I'm going to load this up. I love you in Christ. Peace and grace. Hopefully this works. Uh, if not, I'll come right back at it. I'm going to do it in sections. I'm going to let this get up. Then I'm going to go to that folder and show you a bunch of stuff. You guys can go look at the folders. There's two new folders. There's one called the Eclipse folder, which uh, my head's spinning from. And then the other one, uh, it's called the Serpent Devil Cannibalizes the Angel Sheep. Those are the two new folders, and they're so packed with supernatural data. It's crazy. I'll come back and show you that next, okay? All right, guys. Love you in Christ. Here we go.